You know, George Mosvall is in a wildly interesting, extremely high pressure situation. And I don't know if anybody's noticing it. Uh, I don't bring this to you to add to Mosvall. I bring this to you so that you can appreciate Mosvall. I mean, this is a lot to walk into. He's got something going. He's got some kind of a court case, right? What, what, whatever that is. But that's still there. He's got that. Okay. He has the most organic, number one, it is the most organic, real life, caught on film, reason to fight for a championship that our sport currently has. I'm talking about three-piece in a soda. Three-piece in a soda, the match that has to happen, the feud that has to be settled, by the way, now has a world championship attached to it. So Mosvet, not to mention his popularity, not to mention how much you guys like him, not to mention he only fights absolute killers, right? I mean, he goes and wins any one of these fights. You could see the argument to put him right back in there. Who do you have? Kamara Usman, and now he's got, he's got Gilbert Burns. There's what? Colby Covington in between. There, right? You beat any one of those guys. So, so in some ways, the best days of George Mosvet are still in front of him. I mean, these things are brewing. These things are cooking. He's going to Miami. He's always wanted to fight in Miami. Man, this building, they're going to go crazy for him. Start at the weigh-ins, spill over to the fight. I mean, he's, he's about to have an immense amount of fun. Everything is going his way. Big paychecks. Everything's going his way. Saturday could be his last fight. Everything I just said is true. And you agree with it. You agree to the point that I made about the most organic, promoted, hot on video reason any two guys have to fight is the three-piece in a soda. You see where that's very valuable. Leon himself would like to do the match. He's just, I mean, you just go get a win. Can't bring you in here after you, you, you go down to Uzman, the guy that I just became right, right after Colby. Go, go get a W and we'll figure this thing out. That would be very exciting if you were in Georgia's spot. One away. One win away. Not guaranteed, but right there, looking pretty good. Big paydays, main event, all your childhood dreams, everything at least becomes a possibility. How exciting. He could be done on Saturday. I am telling you two polar opposite things. They're both true. George himself, I believe George to be 38 years old. I believe that I'm right on that. This is also a guy who's completely natural. That's relevant. When you're not taking anything that enhances you, and you are taking tequila because you started a company, I mean, right, not, but not for nothing. 38 isn't 38. 38 for me? I barely get into bed. I was so sore. I take a shot of growth hormone. I'd wake up. That was a distant memory. I felt great. His 38 is not the same as my 38. I'm just sharing for you. It's really hard to do. Gilbert Burns is the biggest nightmare you could draw. The guy that many people think beat Chimaev. The guy who was the closest to beating Kamar Usman on Kamar's entire run. Oh, and by the way, he almost did it by stoppage. Oh, and by the way, in the first round. Not to mention Gilbert lives right up the road from you. Not to mention he wants everything that you want. And he's got a little bit of a better record as of late which makes his argument a little bit stronger. He's just not as good at delivering the message as you. It's a mess. Masvidal himself came out and said, if I can't beat him, I am probably done. Now, he threw that word in. And I wish I didn't have to use that word. I wish I, I, wish I could put up a thumbnail. It was a quote from Masvidal that said, if I lose, I'm done. But he said, probably. He might have even used the word likely. You get the point, though. Right, guys? So now you wonder, well, well, whose decision is it? So you haven't decided you're going to be done. Is it, is it because you think somebody else is going to tell you you're done? Do you think they're going to release you? I mean, what, what is it? Why, why would it be likely? Why would it be probably? There will not be a championship. Now you're just getting used for your name. That's a nice way of saying stepping stone. I mean, do you see where this gets colossally confusing? There was even some talk if George was to lose, but Connor was to lose. You put George and Connor together. I don't hate that idea, guys. And I'm not saying there's not some money to be made. Not at all. I'm not saying George's ability to command and demand our attention and respect goes away with a loss to, to Gilbert Burns. Tons of guys have lost to Gilbert Burns. I'm not saying that at all. 
I'm sharing with you his desire and motivation might. I mean, it, it, that big scary man that you see was a little boy at one point that wanted to be the world champion and nothing more. And he was willing to sacrifice and, and, and give up free time to work, to sweat, to bleed, to travel, to risk his body. He was willing to do all those things to see that dream come true. If he loses to Burns, that dream is gone forever. It doesn't come back. Doesn't come back. So could you be motivated? Could you go out and do it? And I, I hear I hear what they're saying about Masvidal and Connor. I, I do. But we had that opportunity three years ago when Connor was the sport's biggest draw and Masvidal was number two. It, it would have been the single biggest box out we ever could have had at the time when that was being discussed. And then a little bit of time went by and we tried to discuss it again and it still would have beaten all those records. Maybe not as good a timing as they would have done it initially, right? When Dana White gets caught outside a restaurant in Beverly Hills by TMZ and says, I would never put Connor and Masvidal together because Masvidal is too big for him. Right then, that next day, would have been the ultimate time. But I'm just sharing with you, they've had other times they didn't do it. So I'm very light on the idea. Very, very light on the idea. What are you going to do? You're going to have this massive fight. It's not as massive as it once could have been. We're going to go ahead and do it because we don't have anything else to do with these guys. Nothing has ever been promoted that way. Never. We're going to have two meaningful guys. They're going to be the main event. They're going to make a bunch of money. They're going to have a whole bunch of attention. That attention is going to lead to nothing. Oh, by the way, whoever wins is never going to be a contender again. So if you're the winner, you're done. If you're the loser, you're done. It's, it's just one of these. That fight isn't going to happen. That's what I'm here to tell you. That fight is not going to happen. George Masvidal's childhood dreams can still come true. He's one win away from being very deep into that conversation. I can't say it's going to be enough. Very deep into that conversation, particularly with the blessing of Leon who wants to get the match, make the money, and redeem the three-piece and return that soda. But a, a, a loss to Gilbert Burns, I mean, Masvidal said it himself, said, I'm likely done. And it's a really big deal. It's a really big cross to bear. He's doing it in stride. He's doing it calmly. But to, to take all of those factors that I just said, Right? No, no fighter ever chooses. Unless your name is Lennox Lewis or George St. Pierre. Maybe I got to throw Floyd Mayweather in there. Now, maybe we got to amend that list. But no fighter leaves when they want to leave. No fighter goes out the way they want to go out. They go out flat on their back and embarrassed. It's a very difficult fight for Masvidal to win. I mean, all that stuff said, now let's get, let's get right down to it. It's a very difficult fight to win. How's he going to win it? I mean, you always got to ask that question. When somebody, when somebody loves to come in and bang their chest and tell you who's going to win, they're just telling you who they've heard of more, right? The best boxer in the world at any weight class is whoever you've heard of more. We don't actually know, but it's the same thing with MMA to the comments. Maybe not to us. We're a little bit more hardcore, but to the comments, if you've heard of Masvidal more than you have Burns, which is true, then Masvidal is going to win. So then you got to ask them, okay, but how? Because there's only a few ways to do it. You could do it by decision. You could do it by knockout. You could do it by disqualification. You could do it by submission. I mean, I'm very open. But if you want to win, you got four ways to do it. So are you going to knock him out? Are you going to submit him? Are you going to grind him up so that the judges give it to you? Are you going to get him to cheat and get him disqualified? I mean, right, it's one of those questions. Where do you see the advantage? Where do you see the strength? I mean, Zion Masvidal can't go handle himself. I'm, I'm not saying this is a very hard match. It's a very close match, but the stakes are way bigger than the audience is yet to be made aware. The either one of these guys keeps the dream alive, keeps that light shining bright to be world champion, which is what this whole thing's about. Whichever one of these gentlemen loses will never be in the discussion again, ever. This is a career ending and a career changing fight. Pressure is huge. You love pressure. You love those storylines. I'm letting you know what these guys are feeling because they know it, even if the media is not talking about it. And for that, you're welcome.